Shalom brethren again in the mighty name of Jesus I come to you once again because the Lord has spoken to my heart today uh, to give an overview of the great tribulation and its suffering according to how he has revealed it to me brethren in this message for those who do not believe are going to tremble in this message I urge everybody to pay attention because it is very tremendous and powerful the Lord has shown several things concerning what is going to happen in the Great Tribulation, which is a place of agony, uh, a place of terrible suffering. I will be giving some scriptures uh, during this exposition. I hope that you are going to write down the scriptures and write down the points that the Lord had given me on this overview of the Great Tribulation and the suffering that is going to happen in it. You know, the first thing I put in line is that in Great Tribulation, the human beings will lose their value and will be treated as animals. You know, in Great Tribulation, human beings will be hunted like a prey. In Great Tribulation, human beings will experience hell on earth and everything will be deadly stinking with bad smell. I will show you why in the scripture. In great tribulation, human beings will suffer the greatest agony, depression, pain without end and help. In great tribulation, people will be barbecued like braai and fish. See, in great tribulation, people who refuse to receive the mark of the beast, their, eye will be, their eyes will be drilled out of them while crying to die, but they won't find any uh, death. There won't be any consolation in death. Hallelujah. In great tribulation, people will seek to be, to, uh, to be run over by cars. And, uh, and when they, they stand after that heat from the car, they will still be walking in serious pain with leg broken, with the hands broken, uh, blood you know, flowing everywhere, but they are not dying. The only one, let me repeat this, this is very important, the only one that will have power to kill will be uh, the, the the Antichrist, uh, the beast, and and with his soldiers uh, who are uh, demonically uh, anointed. Uh, in great tribulation, there will not be any help. There will not be any assistant. In great tribulation, NGOs who you know and charity organizations who normally help with food, with water, with some milk, with soya, they will disappear because. The, 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 the Antichrist will not allow such. See, in Great Tribulation, the Lord will take revenge upon all those who have forsaken His ways and, and, and He will deliver them in the hands of the enemy. You can check that out in the book of in Isaiah chapter 13. Isaiah 13 verse 6 to 9 says, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as instruction from the Almighty. Therefore, shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt that is verse 7 verse 8 it says and they shall be afraid punks and sorrow shall take hold of them and they shall be in pain as a woman that travailed they shall be amazed one at another their faces shall be as flames behold verse 9 the day of the lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the hand the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners there out of it. So the Lord is going to take revenge on all those who have been mocking him, on all those who have been laughing at the Lord, laughing at us that are rapture ready. And they call us, they are rapture mongers, they are fear mongers. <laughs> you don't know what is going to happen. It's a terrible disaster. You don't want to be in a position to fall on the hands of the Lord to where he's going to manifest his wrath. In great tribulation, the Lord will punish the world for its evil and every man for their iniquity. And that is in the same Isaiah 13, uh, verses 10 to 11. You see, for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light. So the, the stars of heaven, the sun shall not give the light. It will be too dark. The moon shall cause her light not to shine. You know, and verse 11 says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of the pride to cease and will lay low the hotness of the terrible. Brethren, in great tribulation, there will not be an occasion to breed, <laughs> no space to be in peace. Because the Prince of Peace 
who will take the Holy Spirit out of here, will take the bride, which is the church, out of this earth. So the Holy Spirit who reinforces and instills peace inside human souls will not be here. So don't think that in great tribulation you have an occasion to, to rest or to breathe or even even to think it will be hell on earth, as I've already said. Or for those who are prepared, it is hallelujah and amen. For those who are ready, it is hallelujah and amen. For those who have the Holy Spirit, they are now rejoicing that at any time we are going through the rapture. Brethren, in great tribulation, all those children above the age of accountability that will not be raptured, all young men of disobedience will be dashed into pieces and wrapped sexually and annually. So this is written in Revelation 13, uh, in Isaiah, sorry. Isaiah 13, verse 16 and 18 says, Their children also shall be dashed into pieces before their eyes. Their house shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. You see, their bowels also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb and their eyes shall not spare children. So even the wives of those people that will be left behind will be wrapped, you know, they will be ravished. You know, before their eyes, which means demons and uh, demonic people will appear, rap your wife, rap your children before your eye. You cannot do anything, and they will oblige you to receive the mark of the beast by all means. So, if you are still laughing at us, you'd better get on board in the boat. You'd better get on board in the ark of Noah, which is the ark of the preparation for the rapture, for us to be able to escape the wrath that is coming. Again, in great tribulation, only the land of Israel will be safe. And this is according to Isaiah chapter 4, verses 3 to 5. It says, And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, we see when Israel, he that is left, he that will be in Zion, he that remain in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof of the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day and a shining of flaming fire by night and upon all the glory shall be a defense. So the Lord is going to defend Israel in the great tribulation. So the Antichrist will have a hard time, you know, uh, with Israel because the two witnesses and the Lord himself is going to protect his land, Israel. So that is the only land that is going to be safe, uh, safe you know, is the only place that, you know, peace will be there because it will be their time. Uh, the Gentile church will be taken away. Don't think that you will have time to travel to Israel and enter there. Brethren, it is not a chance even to put in your mind. So brethren, the Lord also instructed me to write this down and to tell you, you know, how will the earth be in great tribulation? You know, if you read the Bible very well, you know, you are going to accompany what I'm saying here. It is very, very serious. Very serious. You know, number one, the, uh, you know, after the rapture takes place, when the great tribulation is taking place, implementation of the mark of the beast and so on, and uh, the beast and the false prophet uh, have taken their places, you know, uh, look what is going to happen. <coughs> Sorry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for this time. A third part of the trees and green grass will be burnt. Imagine that the third part of the trees and green grass will be cremated by fire and hail mingled with blood. This is written in Revelation chapter 8 verse 7, which says that uh, the first angel sounded and they followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast up on the earth and the third part of the trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. Number two, in great tribulation, a third part of the sea will become blood and the third part of the creatures of the sea will die. Imagine that the third part of all fish that you eat is going to die. Even the mermaids in the sea, they are going to die. All other creatures of the sea will die. So you can see that's in Revelation chapter 8, verse 9, 8 to 9. And the second angel sounded and it, 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 as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures of the sea which were in the sea had, had life died. And the third part of the ship were destroyed. 
in great number three in great tribulation a third part of the rivers and fountains of water will dry up by fire and the third part of the water remaining will become bitter and nobody can drink it that's Re revelation chapter 8 verse 10 to 11 and it says and the third angel sounded and they fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the rivers and the name of the star is called Wemud, and the third part of the waters became Wemud, and men died of the waters because they were bitter. Number four, in great tribulation, the earth, you know, a third part of the sun will fall on the earth, and a third part of the moon will fall upon men. A third part of the stars will fall upon men, <laughs> and they will kill many people. That is Revelation chapter 8 verse 12. And the fourth angel sounded and the third part of the sun was smitten and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars. So has the third part of them was darkened and the day shone not for the third part of it and it was like night. So the day will be like night. You think you want, you will have some peace, you will have some calm. After the rapture takes place, after the church is gone, brethren, there is no peace. You'd better prepare yourself. Come to Jesus now as you hear me. Come to Jesus. Seek, you know, pick up the Bible, read the word of God, convert of your evil way, abandon sexual impurity, abandon cigarette and drugs, you know, forget your independence because in great tribulation you won't have peace. You won't have independence. There will not be peace. There, there will not be any joy it will be agony, pain, and destruction because the Holy Spirit that brings peace, the Holy Spirit that has the joy, the Holy Spirit, the what? When you talk about peace, when you talk about joy, when you talk about loving kindness, when you talk about goodness, or understanding, or love, these are fruit of the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit is taken away, everything will be taken away with Him. Number five, brethren, the, in great tribulation, the bottomless pit will be opened and demons will appear on earth. <laughs> and and be seen you know by human beings you know the demon that you hear about that you don't see today because the holy spirit hides your eyes from seeing them you will see them in great tribulation with your naked eye and they will come and rip every man and they will come and they will come like locusts you see that have poison of scorpions and the head like you know hair like long hair of the women they will be commanded by the antichrist and the beast you see to torment men and hurt them during five months as it is written in revelation chapter 9 verse 1 to 10 you can read that in your own time so brethren many things are going to happen in great tribulation that you don't have an idea so i've seen people you know i've seen visions of people suffering in the great tribulation great war blood everywhere you know you know people wanting to die they they will not die great tribulation it is not a moment for you great tribulation is not a time for you even to attempt to enter great tribulation is not even to think about it is living hell on earth while you are a living being and besides that if you are not the bible says that many people will not repent after seeing all those suffering they will not repent you see so that's revelation chapter 21 you can read it in your own time they will not repent of their sin they will not repent of their iniquity in fact they will stand and curse the living god so brethren this what i'm telling you you can judge it how you want this is the reality of the word of god that if you don't prepare to receive the Lord Jesus today and be raptured out of here. This is the occasion and good chance that you have. It's the, the chance that you have while you are hearing me right now. You can receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Get born again and get ready for the rapture. And we go together to heaven to rejoice for eternity. So how do you receive Jesus? This it's, It is simple. Just like this. Lord Jesus Christ, I heard your word. I repent of my sins. I receive you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart, Jesus Christ. Write my name in the book of life. Forgive all my sins. Wash them away in the blood of Jesus. Receive me as your child, O Lord, and maintain me in your way. Purify me. Wash me. Let your Holy Spirit come in me to bring the joy of the Lord. O Lord, I refuse the devil I refuse sin. I deny the devil. I deny the old way. Today I am born again. 
For whosoever is in Christ is a new creature. All the things have passed. Behold, everything is new. I thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, if you really meant it in your heart, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10, uh, verses uh, uh, 9 to, to 10, that if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord, you are saved. For with the mouth, confession is made. And with the heart, we believe. So if you believe that you are saved, now go to a Bible-believing church and stand up. Get ready because at any minute, the trumpet is going to sound and we are gone. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Shalom.